<laughs> well, <laughs> I had the ring with me, and I knew that I was going to propose on Christmas Day because that was exactly six months from the day that we started courting. And he told me like a few days before that we were going to our parents for Christmas. So I didn't really have too much time to prepare what I was going to do. <laughs> and uh, I just knew I wanted to do it as, as soon as possible on Christmas day. So at 2 a.m. on Christmas morning, we were still up. I was working on crocheting a Christmas present. And that's why I still had to, I was still awake. Um, his excuse to get me out of the house was like, I'll drive you around and we'll look at lights and you can crochet. So it took us a while to find Christmas lights at 2 a.m. in the morning because most people turn them off. Everybody's sleeping, everybody normal anyway. Um, <laughs> so we finally found a house after driving around for a, a while that had pretty lights. So we parked and it was nice and I was just sitting there crocheting and he was waiting to give me a present. When I pulled it out, I knew, okay, this, this must be a ring. He took the, the, the box from me and then we walked up to the front door of these people's house and he got down one D there and asked me to marry him. <laughs> I said yes. What we decided, and actually it was Sharon's idea, is that she wanted to start a, a church campaign to see a church building built in Asia for our brothers and sisters on the field where they don't have the resources to do it themselves. And um, a wedding, having gifts, you know, we decided that the Lord put it on our heart to just give up that opportunity to instead do a my gfa campaign they were nicer better things that would have been would have been a blessing to own but we didn't need them they were just upgrades of what what we could have used or wanted I mean, the first step is just setting them an account on mygfa.org and it's just a matter of sharing your thoughts um people do this sort of thing every day and we just wanted to share our our heart i mean why we wanted to build a church instead of receive gifts so it's really easy yeah yeah it's exciting to see people who maybe aren't even going to make it to the wedding who wouldn't normally give a, a gift towards your wedding are giving towards the church campaign because they see this the eternal value in it we're praying towards the date you know we set set the goal our wedding date it's, it's really exciting to just keep going back each day and looking did somebody give today <laughs> you know what did the Lord do with our prayers I really wanted to say that the only reason we're doing a church campaign together for our wedding presents is it's the only thing we could agree on <laughs> <laughs> not entirely true <laughs>